Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek and Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to add annotations into your map views. Now this is a carry on from my previous tutorial where I showed you how to make a simple basic map view. So if you're watching this video for the first time I do suggest you go back to that previous one and start from there. So in the simulator here I have the example of what we're creating today. As soon as it loads, you notice it's exactly the same as our previous tutorial, but this time it's zoomed in on a fixed position, and you'll notice we have our pin with our little message. Now, already in Xcode, this is the project that I created before. So we came on from there, and the first thing we need to do is add a new set of classes. So, control click or right click on the top, and simply go to New File. Make sure you click Objective C class, and as soon as you hit next, make sure it's a subclass of NS object. Hit next, and name it something simple, like new class, just so it's easier to understand. And then once that's done, you'll notice it's appeared up here at the top. And the first thing we want to do is go into our .h, and just after the um, foundation here and the import, just hit enter and again type in import and we need to import map kit okay. forward slash mk annotation dot h and once you've done that just after the ns object here we need to do nearly exactly the same, just the less than symbol, then type in mk annotation, then the more than, and then just after the first curly bracket, this hit enter twice, so it's got a little bit of room, and then start by typing in capital CL location coordinate 2D, and then space, and then type in coordinate. And that raised semicolon. Hit enter, type in and a string. And we'll name the string the title. Now this will be the title message on our little message when we click on the pin. Hit enter and again do and a string. Asterisk. And this one will be our subtitle, the little message that appears underneath our title and hit semicolon after that. And then just after the last curly bracket here, let's enter a few times again. And this time we need to add property, non atomic, so add property, bracket, non atomic, comma, space assign, bracket, and we need to put in our CL location, coordinate 2D, space coordinate and that red semicolon hit enter and again at property space bracket anatomic comma copy and then again do a bracket and then we type in our n string for our title And do semicolon. And again, repeat the process. Just to save a little bit of time, I'll copy this and then paste it. But then change this one to subtitle. And make sure it's got the semicolon at the end. And then you can save that. Just zoom out now. If you go straight into our new class .m, and then just after the implementation here. We need to um, synthesize our coordinate, title, and subtitle. So to do that, we do that symbol, synthesize, and the property, we do coordinate, and then a comma, our title, comma, and then subtitle. And end that with a semicolon. So now once you synthesize all three of them, let's zoom back out now. 
And if we go straight into our view controller.m, where we have all our previous code here for changing the map styles, in the view did load, which we'll place in here as it's not on this view, we'll type it in ourselves. So do dash bracket void. You may have this in your view, but if you haven't, just simply follow what I'm doing there. View did load, space, bracket. So hit enter a few times. First one you need to do is do bracket super view did load. Now if you have the view did load function already, you'll have this in here. So let's get this out of the way. And that rest semicolon. Okay, so start the code. First thing, first thing we're going to do is set the map to the standard map type when it loads. So to do that we'll do bracket map view set map type and we want it the standard one so we do mk map type and you can choose for any three but in this example I'll do the standard one and then a bracket and a semicolon. Let's hit enter, do bracket and again map view and this time we're going to set it to enable zoom so you can double tap your finger or double click of the mouse and it automatically zooms in so today we do set zoom enabled and we make sure it's capital yes do bracket semicolon now hit enter now we do set it to the um, we enable the scroll so map view set Scroll enabled and again capital yes. There a bracket and a semicolon. After that, let's hit enter two times to make a little bit of room. Now we'll set the coordinates to where we want it to load up. And here we do MK coordinate region. There we go. Hit enter and then type in region space equals space curly bracket space and then the second curly bracket and we do 0, 0 comma space 0, 0 again space curly bracket comma space curly bracket 0, 0 comma 0, 0 again space curly bracket space curly bracket and that with a semicolon, hit enter. Now we do region again dot center space. Oh, sorry, dot latitude. Now this will be the coordinates now for the latitude, which I've got some here preset up, which is going to center it to my beloved football team Aston Villa. So you can simply find out your own coordinates by just simply going to Google and typing Google Map coordinates and there's a little utility on there that enables you to find the location for yours and the coordinates. So go in here, so just type it in. Seven eight. And then we have a semicolon. Now we do the, the longitude. So we do region dot center again. Dot longitude space equals space and this one here on my one is minus one that eight eight four seven nine nine if you just want to simply copy what I'm doing now just to get an example of how it creates now we need to do the longitude delta and the latitude delta so we're going to do region dot span dot longitude delta space equals space 0 0.01 f and that of a semicolon hit enter and again repeat the process region span dot this time it's latitude delta space equals space and exactly the same 0 0.01 f and then that of a semicolon and then hit enter and now we type in bracket map view space set region and in the highlighted section here we simply type in region space animated and in the animation we do capital yes 
and let me bracket in a semicolon. And we can save that. So now if I zoom out, the next thing I want to do is under the import here, we simply need to import our new view. So we do that by going hashtag import and our new view, which I named it new class. Now once you've imported that, we go back down here now to where we was. Then after the final bit of coding we did there, we need to now type in new class, which is the name of our new view, space asterisk, and space equals space bracket bracket, then type in our new class again, space alloc. And at the end of the lock now we do bracket and then space in it, bracket, semicolon, hit enter, we type in and again, dot title, space equals space. Now we type in the at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark. Now in between the two quotation marks will be the title of the little message that appears when you hit the pin. So I'm going to type in A, B, F, C, as that is the title of what I'm going to pull it. And at the semicolon, then we do and dot, this time it's the subtitle. We do space equals space at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and this will be the little message that under that appears under the title. So I'm simply type in Aston Villa Football Club. My beloved team. So I'm I'm gonna expect a little bit of hate for this now. <laughs> but it's okay. Do semicolon, hit enter. So it's time to do and dot coordination dot equals dot. We need to send it to the region of our previous code we set up there with the longitude and latitude dot center. And that is a semicolon. Hit enter. Do bracket map view. And we need it to add the annotations all together. And the ones we're adding is an. So we do bracket, semicolon, and then we can save that. We zoom out now. We have a few errors here. Let's go back quickly to have a quick look. And uh, I'll see it straight away. On the app property non time I tell you, make sure you've got the little asterisks on these title and subtitle, just as it's got the same up here. But now if you go straight to building one. I should have cleaned up all the errors. There we go. So in the simulator, I just wait for it to load up. And there you have it. it. Zooms into the coordinates that we set it to in this region and drops our pin on the coordinates we set it to. And if you click the annotation, there's a title, ABFC, and the subtitle, Aston Villa Football Club. And it still has all the previous features with the satellite and the hybrid. And then when we set to enable the zoom, so if you double click or if you add it on the device, you just double tap your finger and it zooms in. So I hope this helps any of your apps or projects at the moment. And I hope this helps all those people asking me how to add annotations. So make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Make sure you favor and like the video so you have it for future reference. Also check out the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geekelement.com. Send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you just want to leave us some feedback. And follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as a full list of all our apps which are currently on the App Store. Make sure you go check them out and most importantly if you haven't make sure you subscribe.